personalisation is every child having their own computer or their own learning, portable learning device. And of course that has got funding implications and to do that nationally then the government are talking about big investment. I'm sure ministers would love to say uh, we've spent money and things are better. Uh, in truth they can't. Well, what they can say though is we've spent money and things are different and here's why different is better. Capital uh, spent on schools was around 700 million in 1997. Uh, by 2007, it's gonna be about 6.3 billion. So in real terms, that's about a six-fold increase. It's a, it's a colossal increase in the investment capital available. And the money's been coming in on a, a fairly regular basis and it's been coming in in large chunks. And I don't see any into that. I think they're all aware that you can't just buy hardware and expect it to last forever. So we're much closer to having a situation where schools can replace hardware on a regular basis and have a, you know, replacement policies. And I think the, uh, the support for new software has increased. So at the moment I can't see anything other than a rosy picture. Like you can see it with like all specialist schools popping up all over the place. The government's trying to re regenerate our schools and I think technology is definitely a way they can think about doing it. There is a tension between a national initiative and schools having control over their own budgets. Um, I think the issue for schools is we have, we have to look at national initiatives with our governing bodies decide what's right for our schools and then take things forward from there. Central government can certainly help the uh, get strategies in place, they can provide adequate training for schools, they can provide time for these uh, initiatives to take seed and of course they can provide the necessary funding. It costs a bit to run a department like this, a media department, I mean my budget is generous this year. I don't know if it'll be so generous next year, but I know I'll take advantage of that while I can and, and spend it and buy as much equipment that the kids can enjoy and use while I, while I can. We've experimented with, with children trying to connect to the school network uh, so that their home computer replicates the machine in school. Now the technology is there and it works fine. The issue is the cost of that. The children need a good broadband connection in their home and the school needs to be able to afford the licenses so that the children can use the software at home that they're using in school. Somebody needs to take that on board, otherwise uh, children connecting home and school won't happen in a really effective way. It is going to look a little like you know, the digital camera that used to cost you know, £569, now costs £89. And similarly, you know, the, the thing that you needed to look at a piece of sort of moderately interactive flash-based content used to require you know, a 1500 quid desktop PC. And now actually there's really no very good reason why you can't do it on a simple PDA or a small notebook which costs you know, a few hundred quid. Who knows what the future's going to be? None of us know. Well, in terms of ICT, what's down the road in five years' time, never alone ten years' time? I think undoubtedly over the last few years schools have been better funded by a national government in terms of their ICT provision. Uh, and we've got to the stage now where uh, we have enough ICT equipment in school for the levels of children that we've got. Learn how to fail, fail fast and fail cheap. That's the key. Do it, make a mistake, get out, do the next one and succeed. The government have been up front, they have put money in, uh, schools are well supported. Now is the time for them actually to build on that, actually put more funding in place and we can drive through the personalised learning agenda.